Well, what we can expect is a category one storm making landfall a little bit later on today and starting to see some of those early impacts. We've got the showers that are out there and what we're going to see over the next couple hours is we're going to get these bands that come through. So you're going to get these moments, very heavy rainfall, and then it will start to break up a little bit. And then a little bit later, you get another round and, and those bands are going to continue to persist. They'll eventually be arriving a little bit faster and they'll be a little bit stronger kind of each time you get one. Latest from the National Hurricane Center. This coming in right around 11 o'clock, they are now doing the hourly updates at the top of the hour. They send those intensity updates. They do this before a system makes landfall and it looks like those winds are hanging at about 90 miles an hour gusts up to about 115. No real major changes to the track here. So the track is kind of held steady with landfall looking between about Morgan City and Homa. That is going to be for St. Mary Parish out over towards Terrebonne Parish as well. That's where we're going to see the, the biggest impact. And, and we had uh, we had that crew out over there in New Orleans today. I think New Orleans could could see some of that flash flooding. That is where we're going to see a lot of that rainfall. Remember, yesterday, the day before, we had talked that there were going to be these pockets that kind of set up just on the eastern side of the center where you could get maybe a foot, foot and a half of rain. And I don't think we quite see those rain totals, but it's that same area and it's a very, very sloppy, disorganized system. And so a lot of the stuff has kind of been pushed back on the eastern side of this. And so that's why I think that the flood threat, the flash flood threat now kind of transitions more so to the eastern side of the state, but that is still going to include Include Morgan City, St. Mary Parish, which is getting some of those rain bands that are coming through here right now. Really nasty stuff up along the eye wall as well. So while we've had a little bit of light, moderate shower at times and a couple of these downpours out there. The worst of it is still sitting offshore, so weather will continue to deteriorate. We've been talking all morning about Francine, and I know a lot of folks woke up this morning and, and on hurricane days, it's weird, right? Because you wake up and you expect it to, to really be blown around outside, but you start to see things kind of creeping in. So. We haven't even gotten to the, the main event just yet. We will see the weather continue to deteriorate throughout the course of the morning. A lot of that nastier stuff kind of making its way on shore as well. You do have some pretty decent rain bands kind of coming into Terrebonne Parish here. Home is right about here. Galliano out over towards Boothville. You've got those heavy showers coming through and these bands as they start to pick up. We do need to watch out for the possibility of those spin up tornadoes. Those are going to exist as well. And I think the threat for that is going to be a little bit more so towards the east. East. I think that they probably will see a few more of those tornadoes. We're on the western sides. We're on kind of the quieter side. Now that doesn't mean we're not getting anything. We'll see tropical storm force winds as the eye gets a little bit closer and we're getting our own rain bands that are kind of swinging through the area. This in-house radar here, some light moderate banding coming through the region, a little bit of a break for Lafayette, but those showers that are coming through New Iberia, those are going to wrap back up into the area. And when all is said and done, we're probably looking at two to four inches worth of some rainfall out there. The thing I'm still worried about, and, and this has not changed, even though the intensity jumped up and maybe not getting to cat two, but still staying a strong cat one. It's going to be the surge out through St. Mary Parish. As you get closer to the mouth of the Atchafalaya, you're probably looking at about 10 foot storm surge there, and that could push some water up into the Atchafalaya. So you may see a little bit of spilling over out along the rivers as well with six foot storm surge out through St. Mary Parish. That could that, that could get salt water starting to approach Highway 90. As far as winds go offshore, we can take a look at some of our offshore observations. And these are coming in from some of the rigs that are out there. 85 mile an hour wind gusts. Some of these are, are fairly high up, so you do have to account for that, but that makes sense. That is, that's right around what we've we've been seeing with this storm. That's still sitting 100, 100, 150 miles offshore, but working its way towards us. And so we will start to see weather deteriorating. There's those 50 mile an hour wind gusts. That was 30 earlier. That starts to inch up. The stronger winds start to work their way northwards along the coastline. So we have got an awful long way to go.